Bang, 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 it's your people, Blaze. We back. It's the no motherfucking invite. I'm Blaze, you already know, and we got... And this is Steph. You guys already know what time it is. Steph's in the building, you know what I'm saying? She came a long way just yeah, to come over I made, here. I made, I made you know it I mean? fucking late, god damn it. To bless y'all presence. I and I just want to let you guys know, this is how real it is. It is Halloween week. By the time yes, y'all sir. hear this, it'll be Monday. That Thursday, you know what I mean? All the little creepy and, and weird shit's going to be happening. All that, you know how it goes. It's that, what do they call it? This is when, when the veil is... Uh, the is, veil is lifted? The, the not veil. the veil is lifted, but it's it's thinner, so they say you could see the other side or whatever. Oh, hell no. Or whatever. That's what they say, the spirits and, and whatnot. So being that we, the No Invite Podcast, we we into that type of shit. Steph, you know, we, we like... We like the universe spirits. We like the the whole thing about Earth. Yes. You know, we like... And, and at the end of the day, death is a beautiful thing. But but that paranormal shit is be real, bro. It'd be real. That shit be It'd real. It'd be definitely real. And and we like to get along with the with the seasons, you know what I'm saying? It's like I said last time, you know, you might that this is the this is Halloween. You know, we might have a turkey. So no. I'm talking about the no, turkey. I ain't eat no turkey. I ain't say eat turkey. I, I know vi- Steph's a vegan, y'all. Yeah. She don't eat no turkey. You're right. But um, what I'm saying is, is that like, if it's Thanksgiving, we might have a Thanksgiving topic for for oh, that will. ass. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the natives and the whole yes. original Thanksgiving. I could go. We could go in depth on that for a minute. So just know that um, the No Invite Podcast. That's what we're trying to do. We always try to stay relevant with what's going on. And since we drop consistently, we try to stay current. Absolutely. We trying to stay current more than anything. So with that being said, I got the live on right now, Steph. I got people, they might chime in, they might not. Somebody already brought up the Kukui and the Yorona and stuff like that. I know, like I, know, I know La Yorona, but I never heard the Kukui. The Kukui is, is, is different because it, it, it's it's so much urban legend that it, it, right. it morphs into different shit. And we'll talk about that. Like, like they got to give me more. You can't you, what about you bring up dog? a topic, but you got to hit yeah. me with a question. No, but what about that fucking dog? What dog? No, it's a fucking... You guys know what I'm talking about? Nah. It's a dog? It's a fucking Mexican urban legend dog. Oh, not the Cupa Chabra. Yeah, Cupa yeah, Chabra. yeah, that motherfucker. That, that thing is sick, like bro. Like I said, what's happening? Oski, what's going on? We got him on the live. I heard it's like the Mexican Sasquatch. Yo, I feel yeah. like, I be feeling like... Hey, I think that shit's real, though. I be feeling like us, and when I say us, I mean like Mexicans. I be feeling like we got so many fucking, like, monster type tales, because we're real spiritual people. We're those, Absolutely. We're, we're those people because of colonialism. <laughs> Yeah, we are hey, dark. But your as guys, fuck. but your guys is shit. It, it's it's told in such a way that it's like it really, really. Even if it's fake or not, it really seems real. Well, it, like your mother, your mother scared the shit out of you with the story, so you have to stay the fuck inside. It, <laughs> well, I heard that all stories, you know, whether they're fact or fiction, are rooted in some kind of real. Oh, absolutely. And so look, the re- like I was saying they about the, about the, about our people, though, it's like we're, we're we're weird people when it comes to it because we've had religion beat into us a lot. But we're also our, our, where we're from. How, we obviously have evidence in our homeland that there was life, different types of life and different gods and all that shit. So we're kind of like in the middle. So I feel like we always have, as much as uh, the, the Mexican people, we, bu- we thump the Bible and we're Catholic and we believe this. We're quick to throw out some shit that, you know, obviously the Bible says doesn't well, exist. Like right. there ain't no cucuy and there ain't no fucking, well, you know, like that, and shit because like before that. before that time, you guys were a spiritual people. Yeah. Absolutely. That that's what it was. I mean, mm-hmm. it, 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 and it's still we're still caught in the middle of that. Like I said, because of the upbringing, those 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 urban legends and those myths and those those uh, teachings and the and those uh, spirit that spirituality is still present even after colonialism and all that shit was taken from them. So yeah, like the Kukui, La Llorona, uh, what else? For, what he say? Uh, uh, what he said a couple of things. Oh, you said La Chupacabra, all that shit. Yeah, like, that's the fucking thing. I mean, that's how that that goes to show you. Look, and another example of that is, look at the uh, the Mexican people. They pray to death. The yes, Santissima well, Muerta. but it's a celebrated Muerta. thing. Like I said earlier, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. And it, and if you view it in a negative light, then when that time does come, you're gonna be. See, this is what I think. I think if you're not ready, or or accept death when it comes to you, this is what I think. If you don't accept it when it comes, then you're gonna be a bad. Your spirit's gonna be bad. It's gonna be hindered. But if you accept it as it comes, then you'll be a positive energy when, when your spirit leaves you. That's what I think. I believe that. I believe that in a sense, too, because it's like, I feel like the, the only time that spirits come back to, to and, and say haunting, whatever, is like they say they have unfinished business yes. and it's because they refuse to let go. 
Yeah. It's like I was like, no, I can't die. I'm scared to death. And it's like you're, but you're already dead now, though. So it's like, it's like that whole fight is. It's just as much as we can't control. Uh, being born, we can't control our death or like when we die. People say, yeah, like if you if you take your own life, but that's different though. Hey, man. you know that's like an actual like d- like quote unquote disease. It's like a real categorized thing. Cause like you 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 can you can attempt, but are you are you really gonna try and drown yourself? Are you really gonna pull that trigger? So oh, you mean the people that actually like so the people that the people that really the f- do it? They, they they it was already like chemically. Yes, yes, it's true. It, this is a fact. You can, sad, you, you can. It would, but it's already, pre, it's already predestined. Like not, not, no disrespect, but it's almost like a, like a mental, like a, like a, re, not, not a, not a retardation, but it's like it's something that's pre, it's preeminent. It's preeminent. It's like, it's like a. Uh, you get what I'm trying to say? I know what you mean. For lack of a better word. Yeah, it's basically something that kind of like your genealogy and shit, like and, or your genetics. It's rare. It's like it's like uh, I forgot the word because you know we're highly I'm highly uneducated over here, so don't mind me. I might Forrest forget Gump. my words. <laughs> but yeah, I'm from Forrest Gump, so don't forget about that in case y'all motherfuckers for, did forget. But yeah, um, it's definitely something just kind of like in your genes. If you're prone to heart disease, if you're prone to liver things, I believe that too. That just like that's what we we're talking about the addiction things. Funny how all this shit comes back. Yeah. The same thing with addiction. I feel like that it's partially. You know, like, you know what happens to you, and then you have a pre, uh, fuck, I forgot what it's called, but disposition to it. You know what I mean? Like fucking uh, heart disease or something else. Well, wait, wait, you know, hold on. Hell no. So th- that's two different things, right? Let's say you, you, you're predisposition, you're pre, you have a predisposition to drugs and alcohol, right? Well, let's say, for example, my parents, drug addicts, alcoholics, so I'm prone to it, right? Mm-hmm. I, I experimented. I had my fair share with it. My sister did not. And then there's some kids who grow up in a healthy household and end up getting, like, all the way fucking twisted and lose their fucking life or whatever. And then with the whole, um, what was the other thing you had just said? About the, uh, the, the genetics. The like ge- oh, so then the heart disease? That see that's that's another misconception. Things like that, you think it's oh it's 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 in the family, it's in our g- genetics. No, it's in your diet, bro. And that's and that well, and that's another. Cool. Think about it like this. Nah. Look, look, think about it like this, though. I believe mm-hmm. you. Look, I believe that's a part of it. And, and this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's just like every person that has a predisposition to, uh, to heart disease doesn't die of a heart attack or have a heart valve. Sometimes that shit could skip you. No, and, that's what, that's but, what we've been on. taught. But hold on. Hold okay. on. Okay, look. All right. I'm not saying that's the only cause, though, because like I said, even if it doesn't skip you and you have it, it's also your environment, which you feed yourself, which you're brought up in. If you're brought up in, in like just a lot of terrible traumatic events, that has so, just as much to do with it as your predisposition, if anything, having that a mix with that is probably what will set you off. You but know what I'm stress saying? and diet are two different things. I'm not talking about stress. I'm talking about trauma. Stress I know, and trauma but, but are two that, but different you, things. But you can, but you can get, sh- like, stress can affect you physically. Yeah. Right. Stress. Yeah. You stress. Stress can cause a fucking stroke. Stress yeah, can cause, cause, and so yeah. on and so forth. I'm just saying that as a as an example. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um. But aside from that, all, all that spooky shit, it, it's gonna give your ass a motherfucking heart attack. <laughs> you yeah. know. And um, we we definitely gonna keep it lit with, with look. Blaze got a got a personal story. He fin, he finna tell you. Well, what, I got what? a couple stories and stuff, and it's really the whole the whole uh, the whole paranormal shit that we're gonna talk about. It, it ain't so much like I wanted people to give me topics, but on live but I was talking to him like tell me personal experiences what I meant like I want something that you could say that you felt and then I you know because I can't really tell you about the Kukui Chupacabra because that really I was never really it was an urban legend and I wasn't really raised off that like to me it was like I heard about it but it was never that 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 my family uh, used to scare they used to there's even one it's called La La Mano Peluda it's called I forgot it's called but it's basically no, it was the. It's I like the hand. I think I heard about the that. Hand. It's only a hand, and it's I the think never I dies. I heard about that. Like, the never dies. Adam's family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you meant the. <laughs> like the I thought you meant the clown. I know that's I right. No, no, no. I know. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it that was, was what it. I was raised on, and it's not as popular. But I I, like I said, Ew. the ones that we know now are super popular, and we could go on and on about that too. But they're super popular. That's because it's like they entered the pop culture realm already. But there's also all kinds of other ones. The reason what I want to, uh, more than anything, is we're going to talk about our personal experiences. Right. Like, have you ever, and it doesn't mean that it's fact, and you got to be sure, like, you know, sometimes you just feel a presence. Your intuition, or you feel, yeah. yeah. Your intuition, there's more to to us beings, it's just this physical, like, in case you didn't know, I, I really feel like, you know, all that stuff is, uh, there's more out there, you know what I mean? Ew, you sound like my scary-ass aunt with that <laughs> voice. 
<laughs> so look, it's the motherfucking No Invite Podcast. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back and we're going to go ahead and kick off this whole paranormal shit. It's the Halloween vibe. You know how we do. And we're going to talk that motherfucking shit. So, Steph. Dude, I know Patty's tripping me out right now, bro. Hey, you know what I noticed about I Steph? Now I'm going to hear this shit when I go to hey. bed. Oh, You Lord. know what I noticed about Steph? She's really big on voices. Because last time when okay. I did the when I'm I did the creep Ew, voice, Lord. she didn't like that's that shit. Right? Yeah, but, hey, that's what makes you think that what you're doing ain't creeping me out? It's right a now. fucking like voice. Ew. The, it's not like a. That's the creeper voice. <laughs> it is what it Boom. is. We got the we got the neighborhood kids out there talking that shit. So look, we're gonna go ahead and take we're gonna get off this we're gonna take get off this live take this break and we'll holler at y'all in a minute. No invite. Okay, so we back. It's the No Invite Podcast. It's Blaze. And this is Steph. And we finna get into it right now. We're gonna talk about it because we got the Halloween theme. Like I, <laughs> hey, I love Halloween. Well, I, this this time of the year used to be my favorite time of year. It's also the worst time of year for me. But that's something else. But I still get into the spirit. I try to. I like the whole idea. When I was young, it was my favorite. It was my favorite. Um, it was my favorite, uh, what's it called? Time of the year, my bad. Yeah. So I always I always like to get into it and I always talk about stuff. And I feel like, you know, being that I'm a spiritual person, I'm not just um, somebody that, that's like super religious. I believe in all, uh, uh, you know, in all types of uh, phenomena, and you could call it in beliefs. And, um, you know, I wanted to touch on that. So we're going to kick it with the Halloween thing. It's the Halloween way. It's the last, you know, you know. The last hoorah, we finna keep it rolling after this till next year. We're not gonna be able to talk that that Halloween time. I mean, we can, but you know, we're gonna get into it. And I wanted to share my first personal experience. Um, well, I'm gonna share a experience that I've had, right? And you know, you tell me, am, am I tripping? Was I was I was I out of pocket, or was I just thinking too much into it, or what? So, uh, my old house that I grew up in, uh, my whole family lived there. Everybody was, you know, we were pretty a close knit, a close knit family. But a lot of times, you know, when I was in my teenage years, I would be on my, on my, you know, my asshole shit basically. And one night, I remember that we had our room separated from the house, like you know, those little spare in law rooms in the backyard. And yeah, shit like they a had. granny unit. Exactly, granny unit. But it didn't have no bathroom or nothing. It was just a bedroom, like a big bedroom, right? So that used to be our little spot. I remember I came home once and, you know, with the families up, there's usually somebody, my sister, my aunt, whatever, you know, my, 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 my brother, somebody's awake in the house. I came home real early, normally than I normally do when I wasn't out hooliganizing and shit, right? <laughs> so, was this, out here in like this is out here in Pittsburgh, this is in the P. So this, I had to be maybe like 15, 16 years old, maybe a little older, maybe 16, 17, something like that. So I, go, I get home early. I don't know why. I don't really quite remember. I see everybody. My sister's up. The lights are on. Boom. I go back, back to the room. I fall asleep. I wake up a few hours later. It had to be. It couldn't have been that long. Well, it could have probably been like three, four hours. Something this is like, like in that. the evening? This, this is in the night? evening. I get home like late, like early evening, like eight o'clock, some okay. shit like that. I go to sleep. I wake up. Maybe it had to be like two in the morning, some shit like that. Maybe later, earlier. I think it was later. I'm hungry. So I got to walk to the backyard. There's no light. Oh, hell no. You got to walk from the backyard to the side door. The side door is a little laundry room. Then you walk up the stairs and there's the kitchen. Uh -oh. And from the kitchen, you could see the front windows of the living room and the front door. Okay. So it's dark. I walk up and I stand up in the kitchen. I make it to the top of the stairs. I stand up in the kitchen. I look. And you know when there's street lights out or when you got the street light or the moonlight creeping through the blinds? Mm -hmm. Like you could still yeah, yeah, yeah. see in the house, right? But you can't. You could just see like silhouettes and shadows, right? Oh, you can't shit. see nothing else really, because there's still light coming in, but it's it's not totally pitch dark. So I walk in, I step in, I'm already tripping because there's no lights on. There's no lights in the backyard. Usually mm -hmm. a lights on. Usually there's a light on in the house when I'm walking up. I ain't see none of that. I walk in the house, everything's turned off. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Didn't think nothing of, nothing of it. It's not irregular. I look to the front door. And right in the front door, you know, it all disappears and it turns into shadow. You really can't see the door. You just see, like, the, the little outline of the door that you know is there. 
I'm looking and I and I squint a little bit and it looks oh Steph over here looking like she's about to freak no. out right now. <laughs> she's making faces, bro. If y'all see what bro, she's doing. Bro, you right guys now. listen how he's like painting the picture of this shit finish. I gotta hear I gotta hear the end of this. I'm over here like tripping out as if I was there. Yeah, she's over there like <gasps> Like I'm like, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting into it. If listen. you stay you take Steph to the movie, she's gonna be the one she's gonna be like, run, bitch! Run! <laughs> Don't go! Don't go! No. She's gonna kill you! <laughs> So, no, it's, a it's okay. So it's yeah, more enjoyable. Yeah, so, <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, like the room's all black. I look, and I see like a silhouette, yeah. and it in looks the like somebody. Yeah, standing by the door. Like you, like I said, when you look at the door in a dark room with like the that kind of lighting, you can still see the outline. You may not be able to see the actual door and the knob, but you, you can see, see the, where the door is. You, door's see, you at. see the trim, but not the door. Exactly. Oh, fuck no. So. Usually, you know, it's a straight line. But when I looked, it was a straight line. And then, I, then when it started going down, you know, the side, of the silhouette of the door, it looked like somebody was standing oh, there. Oh, fuck no. And I, and I stop and I look. I'm like, bro, I was like, I, I, I'm young, but I'm like, I know I ain't do no fucking drugs or nothing. Like <laughs> so I'm like tripping out. I'm looking. And then I see it move. Oh, fuck no. And when it moved, it moved directly towards me. Like, it moved like if something was trying to rush you. Oh. Put it that way. That's the body movement that I seen. You said you weren't out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty I, I'm not gonna say I wasn't on drugs I just wasn't on drugs at the time you know what ah. I, mean? I, I probably had smoked some weed earlier I, I, you know what I mean yeah, I was young way, I, I wasn't off. doing no heavy shit like I don't I didn't smoke no crack or no crazy shit to make <laughs> me like to make me look like I didn't do none of that stuff so no acid no to me movies. nah well back then I did maybe mm -hmm. yeah like, but you know how much energy when that shit does occur how much energy it takes for an energy to do something like that or move objects or move like it, that that's a strong fuck that shit yeah and all I know is look so it ran to me and, and as soon as you walk up to the top of the stairs the kitchen there's a little wall right there the wall's right there you, that's where you click the light so that's what I normally did, but I walked up and I'm like, you know, it's late. I wasn't wanting to make no noise. That wasn't my first instinct was to turn the light. You know, we young. I see that and I seen it coming towards me when it starts coming towards me. I, I, I jump back in my step and I click the light. When I click the light, I stand up and I look in there and there's nobody in there. Oh, hell no. That's crazy, right? So there's nobody in there and I, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, what the fuck just happened right now? Because... I couldn't see it. It didn't do nothing to me. It's not like I felt like I got hit by wind or you know anything like that. I just it just seen it run towards me. You know? Hell no, I would have been I would have screamed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking at the way you were looking right now when I was telling this fucking story. I don't doubt that shit. You know what I mean? Fuck. Why? Cuz I believe I believe in that shit. Not all the time, but 9 times out of 10. You can't people can't just make shit like that up, especially kids or when you're an adolescent more or less you you was a teenager. Like, you ain't gonna make no shit like that up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Oh. You're not gonna make shit up like that. And I feel like, like I said, all stories come from somewhere real. You know, maybe that, that, that by the time that we get them, they're so embellished that they seem like a fantasy. But like... Well, we're, we've been told, we've been told, you know, urban legends and sorts from the time we're children up until that point. So it's all, I also think it's like a subconscious building. You yeah. know what I mean? It is. It's... Well, uh... What if what if it was a fucking creep in the in the in the it, shadows? It, you know what? I can't say I got a I, I got a weird vibe. I felt the energy. Oh though. fuck that! It I felt it though, like, cause like I said, it was just weird. Normally, I would walk up, click the lights, and whatever. This time, I didn't. Something told me to walk up, and I didn't want to click the lights already because I knew it was late. So I usually would walk to the fridge, open the fridge door, and that would be my light. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, I, I used to do that, but too. But I walked in, and something told me to stop. And I stopped, and I opened the door. I mean, I, I stopped, and I looked at the door. And that's when I noticed it. Imagine if I just would have walked in, didn't turn on the light, didn't stop and look, just went to the fridge. Ass. Who knows? I would have been with my stupid ass with my head in the fridge, and the shit could have been walking around behind me doing who the fuck knows what. Locked your ass in the you freezer. Know what I'm locked I'm like, your ass bro. in the freezer. I'm like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, um, I don't, hey, some shit like that though. Cause look, like you said, I believe in that shit. Growing up in a, and I was in a super religious family, but we grew up Catholic. You right. feel me? And 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 a lot of like you know American whatnot. That's like Christianity and Catholicism. It's all, that's it's all dumb. related. Yeah. So, but it's all it's like the normal thing, and they teach you that stuff like that is really not it. Like aliens and stuff like that. And right. And and, and they teach you that all that that's evil. Like they try to suppress your 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 wokeness, kids. Yeah. So they tell you that wokeness. that shit's evil and. 
You know, and I don't, and I, and I feel like to me when it comes to spirits and shit, I don't feel like they're always evil. I feel like, no. you know, like, just there, like there, no matter what, there's always gonna be pro and con, good and bad energy. No matter what it is, it, there, there's syncrasies and the balance of life. What, what kills me is though is that when people be like. Oh no, that's the devil and this, that, and the other. But what are angels? Angels are the same thing. They're spirits. If you believe in, you know, if you're if you're into the Bible and religion, they, they tell you that there's spirits and there was the there was the angels that watch over us and, and you know and the things like that. So it's like if you believe that, you gotta believe the other thing. Though I, it's like there's no way you could be religious or spiritual and not believe that there's something more than yourself out mm-hmm. there. Period. Mm-hmm. You know but what you, I mean? You know it doesn't way, mean that it's God. What I'm saying is, is that you know that this is not the the end all say all. You know what I mean? But you, but you, but you do know the way that society tries to. Um, what's the word? I was just. I just had in my mind. You said suppress it, right? Not not suppress, but the way they try to like um, okay. not portray, but the way they try to like um, uh, consecrate a certain way of thinking into us. You get what I'm saying? That they want us to think. They want us to think like a certain way. As like a, it, it's like a control thing, but it, it, something like that. I, I, I honestly, I really lost my train of thought from that drink we just had. But I had, I had something better We're to gonna, say. But it's something along those lines. I'm starting to notice that Steph needs. I'm starting to notice that Steph needs to do this shit sober. <laughs> Like, no, like no, dead no, ass no, I'm sorry, no, no, last Smoke time a couple the weed, cigarettes. Nah, fuck that. Cause she was talking, hey, she was talking about that, that she was telling me how, how bad it was when, um, you know, I don't like the first episode. I, I'm not, nah, I don't I was sound high right. As fuck. Hey, can I keep it 1000 with you? What? I had somebody that listened to the podcast tap in and be like, at first they're like, I don't know. I was like, I like it, but I don't know about her. I don't know if she's ready for that. Oh, right? Well, but show, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm like, I'm like, I told them, I was telling them, check this out. That's my, they didn't say it in a disrespectful way there. I'm like, check that out. That's my coast. She's growing like I'm growing because I'm getting used to this shit too. It's not, even though I've been doing it for a while, this is still a whole new experience for me. Right. But so they're like, no, I respect it. You know, you know, that's, that's, it's all about the journey. I'm like, okay, cool. Then the next episode they heard and they're like, Mm -hmm. bro, she's dope. And because I also told him, I was like, I was like, she said it on the podcast. She got high. She wasn't really feeling like, like she gave her I best. I was tired as fuck. And too. tired as fuck. So the next one, that's why I remember. I, I remember you posted on Instagram, and I was like, yo, I, I comment. I got under the comment. I was like, yo, I'm getting good reviews from this because that same person that did yeah. tap back in, he was like, bro, she's the one, bro. This shit is fucking dope. Like he was really right on. on it. Like so. Before that's what I'm saying. Before we rush to judgment on people, we but all got to hold on. We're first. gonna be scrutinized no matter what. So I, I'd rather be my own worst critic. That way, can't nobody make me feel bad about how I'm doing because I'm like, you know what? I already done roasted myself a million times in my head already. What the fuck can you say to me that's gonna make me well, feel here, like? Well, here's here's, <laughs> my, here's my whole thing. That that okay? I'm not gonna say motherfuckers, but here's the thing that people need to understand. I'm not I'm not afraid to have the discussion. I'm not afraid to try these new things. Like I had told you before, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not I'm not afraid to be in front of the mic. I I've just never done it before, so yeah. it's a new experience. It's an awkward position for somebody who's never done it before. She took that she took that real personal. I know I for real because people don't listen, think about if you're no, listening, but, but people don't think about that stuff. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. But I, but I mean I, I take it. We it's talked all about it. We talked about it. Oh step, no, absolutely. You know. We talked about it though. But look. Like you you said, gonna love me? He already <laughs> knew. He said he was like, bro, this shit dope. It's you guys did your thing. She's dope. She's he was like bigging you up the next one. He wasn't tearing you down or nothing in the comment. Or I mean in the in the in the He in the, lightweight was. No, he was just saying I don't know uh, about her. He, Cause he he noticed what you noticed. You said that you cause you was late, you weren't giving your best. Right. No, absolutely. No, so, yeah. I take it. It's so he good. noticed he noticed that you were uncomfortable. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't uncomfortable, like I said, it was like a or new experience. Or it was just new experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he noticed that. And That's like you noticed it when you listen oh, to yeah. it. But he said the next one, you were way more comfortable. You were good. He was like, yo, she's dope. Only like, getting better, baby. Yeah, I mean, and that's what it is. I told him, like, bro, we all growing. It's a journey. Like, mm-hmm. if you listen to any podcast from the beginning until till right now, you you could tell, you could see the oh, growth yeah, in the people. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because it really, uh, it's, we're just trying to give you some honesty. Look, damn, all that because I lost my train of fucking thought. God see, damn it. We, yeah, we done jumped off into that shit. But you're doing good, though. Yeah, so, anyways... Look, back to the motherfucking Halloween shit. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, then my other topic, you know, real quick, I'll just touch on it. It's not really a major thing. It's just an experience that I've happened. You've, you've experienced deja vu before, right? Oh, absolutely. What do you think deja vu is? You know what? I read up on it a long time ago, and it hasn't resonated, but it's, um, you know what? I think, it, you know, I have to think about it. Let me, let, look, come back to me on it I really will, quick. Well, look, I'll let you know what I think about it. I okay, think, go ahead. Um, 
this is what I believe and I believe it from personal experiences. There have been times well, cause I'm, I'm really deep into it's dreams. Some, some, yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing. So like, some subconscious some shit. Yeah, it is. Because I dream, I, I, I've always been really big on dreams and dreams have always like been like something that's called my attention since I was young. So a lot of the times that I've had deja vu, especially big times in my life, I knew I had been there before because I had been there before in my dream. I've seen it in a dream before I actually experienced right. it and lived it. And um, for instance, an example, my like first time going, exactly, my first time going to prison, I dreamt about that. And when I got, I remember, I remember before I even went, before I even went, and then years and years in the past, and I had the dream and, it, and I'm sitting in my cell block and, and looking out on the tier and I get deja vu. And when I look around, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, this is me. Now everybody's different. I'm not saying that that everyone is like this, you know what I mean? And it's obviously it was my choices. I if I was smart or if I was thinking like that, maybe it's I would have had that dream and I would have changed how I was acting. But I just had the dream and said, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like Do you know what deja vu means? What does it mean? Give me the definition. Well, deja vu for one is French and it means oh, already shit. already like seen. Menage a it means already seen and it and it's an it's an intuition thing. Okay. It so is. look, my experience, right? I, I I that's what I believe. I believe that I've seen things and I and, and I'm not going to say I'm psychic or anything, but I've experienced pre premonitions and stuff like that before. So I'm going to take you back again. Same house. I'm dreaming though. This time I'm locked up. I'm in I'm in juvenile hall and some stupid shit. Right? We, I was a worker, so they put you on overflow. They put you on cots. They oh, don't stick you in the cell. I was, a, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, so I go to sleep. We're sleeping, um, and I had this dream that I'm in my old house. And we, we, uh, I'm, I'm asking my friend. My friend sleep on the couch. I wake him up. I'm like, yo, do you want something to eat? I'm gonna go to Nations. And they were like, nah, I'm cool. I'm like, all right. I turn around, they're sleeping in the living room. I turn around, hit the door, open up the door, and I and I and it looks and it's like those movies, you know, where there's like lightning in the background and you could only see like the silhouette again of somebody. So like that's what happens. Open the door, it's lightning in the background, I look, and it's my friend's mom. It's my friend's mom standing there, and I'm like, that's how you know it was one of those realizations where I knew it was a dream. I'm tripping because I'm like, yo. That was like, like I said, I was a realization that I knew it was a dream because my friend's mom had died like a year prior to that. So I look, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. And then lightning hits in the background again and her face changes from that to a skeleton. And I fall, and that shake, that gives me spook. So I fall to the ground like, bam, like, oh shit. I look up, she's gone. I wake up. I wake up, right? You were saying something? Go on, no, go on. Cause... So I wake up. I'm back in juvenile hall. We got to do the breakfast thing. We got to wake up. We got to get everybody, you know, um, you know, we got to feed breakfast. And since it's a weekend after that, the first chance we get, we use the phone. So I get up, do my regular routine and shit. I get on the phone. I call the house and I call my brother. My brother answers. And um, he was, I was like, what's up, bro? And he goes, man, he goes, he goes, he goes it's been a, it's, it's a bad night. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he told me that my friend had died last night. That night, he had died in a uh, car accident. He ran off the side of the road and hit a tree. And, like, it was already a weird day because I'm the kind of person that sits with dreams. So once I have one, it sits with me and I follow it. And, I, and you know, and it, and it, and it, at least for the day, I think about it. It's in my subconscious, you know what I mean? But when that happened, I called home and he told me that. I was like, yo, I was like... I, I mean, I, I took it, I'm not going to say it's deja vu, but like a premonition, like you said. So that's the reason why I bring up deja vu, because I've had experiences about prison and then that. But see, what you said is kind of like the opposite of deja vu. No, I know that, but it's kind of in a no, sense but, but, related. But, but because also, me, it is. My deja vu is is like I've seen it before, so I'm like almost like a premonition of what is to come. You know what well, I mean? Well, because it's an... In, it's an Deja vu is an inheritance in partner in like partnerships and friends and all that kind of shit and it and it leads to, to pivotal outcomes that can impact the direction of, of your life, right? So and it says that well from what I've read, as a matter of fact, it says like when you when you have when you have these dreams, these visions mm -hmm. and um you you shouldn't ignore them because that um you, you shouldn't ignore them because like I said, it, it can it can change the direction of your life. It can be 
you know, like you said, she had already passed and then you had seen her, her face again. And then, so that was in semi connection. Like it, it may, her face may have came up, but in other words, you knew something happened to somebody that well, you knew. Really and you feel know what like I'm saying? There's, there's like a weird connected dot right there. Yeah. Well, it was like, I'm not going to say literally, but it was like a sim, it was symbolism for death because not only was my friend's mom deceased, but she turned into a skeleton. Like I said, like. Like I don't, I have weird dreams, but that one was real sp weirdly specific. You know what I mean? So for it to be the timing that it was, and then the timing with my friend passing away, it it that's what stood out to me. I've had, we've all had instances, I'm sure, where we thought of shit and we heard shit or we experienced and felt some stuff, and we couldn't quite explain it, but it sits with you. Even like like I said, a dream or or even a conversation with somebody that that reveals something to you that makes you look at something different or or shatters your way of thinking about something. It's like those are like life altering type things and I feel like for my instances I brought those up because of those are the most like weirdest occurrences that I could bring off right off top of the hand as um, that has happened to me as far as the spiritual and and, and and what I think is you know like you know the whole supernatural mm -hmm. and, and, and spirits and all that stuff see so. we think it's weird because of what we are taught by society yeah when it, when it was commonplace, you know, when people were natives and people were in their native lands, it was like, like I said, all these tales come from something. They didn't just get made up. They come from a reality, whether it's something that we created ourselves or something that's really out there. Uh, the, that whole book I was telling you about the holographic universe, that's what it says. It says a lot of times, you know, we because we, it talks about vibrations and that's basically gives you the whole function of what we are, our energy, and you know what I mean, and the whole shit. So it talks about like how sometimes... Remember I was saying, it was like sometimes you'll think of something, you'll put it in the atmosphere and then it'll gain steam and it'll grow and it'll actually come to life because so many people are actually thinking about it now and right. they're giving it so much attention. Just like with this whole like, just like with this mm -hmm. whole vegan movement and environmental movement, how everybody's grouping together now, just for example. Yeah. So it's like now change is starting to happen slowly, but it's happening because everybody's putting that energy out there. That energy out there, and it's and it's it's it goes back to what people say is how powerful the mind is. Like you said, the power the mind oh, is yeah, powerful the, enough to shut your body down. The the mind is powerful enough to heal itself to exactly. so, to a to a certain and major degree. Exactly. So it's strong enough to do that. What about you, Steph? Man, my, uh, so look, when I was like a teenager as well, I was probably like 15, something like that. So my homegirl and like her boyfriend and whoever, it was like four of us. She was like, oh, let's go to this, this graveyard or whatever at nighttime. And I'm all, I was already in my mind. I'm like already like halfway spooked. I'm like, I don't fuck around with that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't fuck around, but I, I, I can't act like I'm fucking scared. Can't be no punk. Nah. But the thing about this graveyard, it was out in like, in Sonoma, and the graveyard was like up on a on a hillside. It was already creepy with it, in the woods. It was literally in the woods up, and you had to walk up a fucking hill. So they were saying like, oh, there's this this woman spirit that wanders around at night. And I'm like, man, hell no. Like, let's go see. There's four of us. I ain't that scared. So we we get we get to the entrance. We probably get like a few yards in the beginning of the of the cemetery and i bullshit you not the, what i saw like and i never seen anything else like it in my life what i saw reminded me of the um the image of la llorona the, the, the image and i saw this woman figure in robes all white and she just was like creeping over like just like passing by she just stopped and like turned around I, I screamed, I ran back by myself in the pitch blackness, and then my ass hit a fucking rock ditch and busted my fucking face. Mm. And then my homegirl was right behind me, she fucking fell in the shit. But, but, Did she see it too? Yes. Yes. Crazy. Where's, where was this? This was in Sonoma. Shit. Yes. And then, and then aside from that, cause I can't give as much as a detailed experience as Blaze over oh, here. All the shenanigans that she was doing. Man. Nah, but like it was, I just, I just, I, I'm more of a bigger picture person, not into the fine details unless necessary, mm -hmm. but like that should scare the, the, the living hell out of me. And then recently when I had just moved into my new place, mm -hmm. my, uh, my landlord, I think she was, I don't know what she was trying to do, but she, she was like, oh, uh, if, just so you know, before you moved in, before you move in, you know, that room, that room is haunted. I'm like, wait, wait, what do you mean it's haunted? At the last second. At the huh? last second, like a week before I move she, in. The deposit already got cashed. I don't believe in. in that thing. 
No, no. She was, the deposit already got cash. By the way, no, and she uh, might start floating in this motherfucker like the plunger. And so she's and lived there for like over eleven years or something like that. And I'm like, well, how do you know? Oh, because the man who built it or or was here before me or whatever she had said, oh, he died in here. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, fuck it, right? Man, I go up in there. I'm probably like a couple days after I start hearing shit in the house, creaking, walking, door doorknobs. Like my door, like somebody was fucking with the door and shit. I was like, oh hell, fucking! I got I went and got some sage. That motherfucker ain't been around since. I I'm not kidding. She yeah. wasn't lying. Yeah, and you know what? It's it's like like I said, it could be a lot of different shit. It could be just um, it could just be fucking what's it called? It could be like then that house ain't energies, that old. leftover energies. You know what I mean? People that. That, that, you know, don't refuse to let go, that they, they're not, that they're gone, you know, whatever the case might be. And sometimes it could also be a trick, a game of your mind's fucking playing tricks on you. Like, yeah, because I, she already had told me. Exactly. She put in your brain, even with the story I was talking about, like in the house, like not the dream, but the, the whole scene, the thing in time. I, that could have just really been me too, though. Like, I don't put that past me neither. Like, I could have been like, I could have just been... Maybe, maybe I just, you know, like, maybe I felt some kind of way because things weren't normal when I walk up like they normally are, the lights. And maybe, like I said, my imagination ran with it a little bit. You know, it's very possible. Hey, but you know what, though? Like, I, I believe him, like, when he said he saw that, that figure come towards him. The, the shit I saw, there was moonlight, and it was, what I saw was cl- was clear. What's weird is that somebody else saw it, too. Yeah. Yeah. And that I didn't. Di- and that's that different. That solidifies it. That validates. Yeah, that's different. That's not like one person. That's like. Tripping. That's just that you can't see that. <laughs> see that one is a big difference from the from the haunted room one because that one, the whole the whole thing that you've seen and and the whole situation, somebody else seen it with you. I'm not lying. Like that shit was probably like, probably like so many feet away. Probably like, 15 feet away. About 15 feet away, and it had to be like a four foot, white. Like ghosts, I, it's no other way to describe it. It just it, it, the image reminds me of what Lyadona would have like looked like as far as a figure is concerned. And it was a woman, so I'm just wondering like who. I, oh, oh, I forgot to mention. So then we left there. I, once we left there, we went to like some some uh, one of the we went to somebody else's sister's house, and she lived right across the street from a cemetery. She lived right across the street, and I'm and I was like, oh, this fucking, but it's all residential. And, and I'm not kidding, it's like two or three in the morning, we hear the most eerious scream. Yeah. And it, it, I don't know, it was too fucking weird, bro. It was too weird. And then I was like, fuck this shit, I wanna go home now. I heard it. But it wasn't just me, I mean, I had several other people heard it too. No, 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 other people heard it too, but like, but like her, the, the, the sister whose house we were at, she didn't hear anything. And I'm like, bro, how the fuck you not hear that? Like, I, I was like, I never been back to Sonoma ever since. I was like, fuck this shit, I ain't come back here. Negative. No, and yeah, like, and it's funny because it's your upbringing, and because you got people that totally just don't believe in none of that shit, and they can't, they never experience anything like that. Yeah. So it's, you know, the whole if you if you know, like, what I'm saying is, is that how you grew up in a in a uh, in a in a religious household, and so did I. And you said that you you man, I didn't grow up in a fully religious household like you did. Like you you was grew up, you said uh, strictly Catholic, right? Mm-hmm. Well, see, my parents sent my sister and myself to, to the Catholic Church on Sundays. Did you know ba- the the catechism and the communion, all all that shit? But then during the week, we got sent to the Baptist Church. So I was like, "What the fuck? Is, what, what am I supposed to be believing?" <laughs> I was hella lost. I'm like, "What is really religion?" Maybe yeah. and maybe that's why like it really had my brain going, and I think that's why I, I evolved into like my spirit, my spiritual ener- energy, like. Well, you kind of seen the conflict, so you're like, it made you want to probably search for more. Like, okay, yeah, you know, this, this, there's something missing. Like, I don't yeah. understand. Because mm-hmm. I don't knock nobody's religion. I, I don't no. like organized religion because I don't like the lies that they used to perpetuate stuff and, and, and how to control people. But, yes. I, I, like, I don't knock nobody. You believe what you believe. Oh, absolutely. And you, and you, you know, you're going to, um, you know. Can't, you, we can't take that away from you people. You just got to be tolerant. So, yeah. it's the motherfucking No Invite Podcast. I, I'm Blaze. This is Steph. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a break. We're going to go ahead and get this shit rolling. It's the Halloween episode or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> but we're going to stay on topic and we're going to stay in pocket. You know what I mean? We'll talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> back. It's the motherfucking No Invite Podcast. I'm Blaze. And you got Steph. 
and we we kick we still talking. We I mean I ain't gonna lie. This whole this whole the talks between our takes they really be fire because they go anywhere, and we're just talking about all kinds of shit. I really feel like uh, I'm gonna come to a point where I'm just gonna leave the mic running through the whole fucking session. And go back more in depth and edit out the stuff, of course, that y'all don't need to hear. That's but a there's, good idea. There's a lot of good conversation that goes when the mic comes on. Is the only reason why I don't do that is because some people forget and some people start saying shit that they don't want to say and be recorded. And it's like I get it, you know. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. So Patty over here raising her hand because she knows she be saying some out of pocket shit sometimes. So. <laughs> Barely. Nah, nah. Nah. Now Patty's pretty reserved this time. She was talking that shit last time. Patty's cool. We're like. We were talking about Patty though. We bigged her up in the last podcast though at the end and the closing credits and stuff like that. I told her I was going to slander her and talk shit about her on the mic. She's like, you better be fucking ready because when the next podcast drops, I'm going to hit you with some shit. I'm like, Let your nah. ass have it. Nah, but we big Patty up. So we, you know, just want to send a shout out to producer Patty. You know, the whole Halloween thing uh, <laughs> is coming, you guys, whether you believe or not, it's, it's a cool little vibe, I think, because it gives people a... Uh, uh, a break from the normal reality, of- and it, and it's the beginning of the dark, the dark age of the year. That's not even the right way to say it, but it, this the is the dark age of the, the year. Who sounds like a creep now? Ew, no, nah, but for real, the dark age of the nah, year. No, but from here on out, the days are gonna be darker, longer. Yeah, most you know? definitely, it's that it's that time. It's you know, it's the seasons is changing, and we right everybody's on, we right gonna on the cusp get of it. De- all depressed. This is the time when people get depressed. And, and it goes That's down. why they do. You know that I, I read somewhere I could mm-hmm. be wrong. I don't exactly remember the story, but I read that they came up with Christmas as a way for people to yep. survive the winter and shit. It, it, it is. wasn't even, and it then is. it got adopted by Christianity and the whole fucking Jesus' birthday and stuff like that. But they, people, people, yeah, that's a yeah, whole other thing. That's a, yeah, I mean, but that, yeah, that's that's like deep. That's some deep shit right there, though, for real. If y'all ain't know Google well, that, do your history and research on that. Did you know that Christmas is actually the twenty the 25th and the 20 no, excuse me 24th 5th and 6th are the three darkest days of the year that's when the the, the sun is at its lowest I, and i'm pretty sure the 25th if i'm not mistaken is the, it's the lowest of the year and that's why they because when it gets dark and gloomy like you had said and that is true I, I read the same thing but that's why it's on those days it's the darkest I also, also heard that a lot of that has to do with the lack of sun that we get well yeah of course and i mean with, with lack of sunlight People get depressed, mm-hmm. and then when they when there's no family around, you know, with the gloominess, and that's why why you why you see a lot of people start drinking more who ain't got no family. They start drinking more. There's a lot there's a lot more suicide attempts and so on and so forth. So if you ever feel alone, I'm pretty you know there's always places you can go, outlets you can just shit go people show up, you can go talk show up, to. go go show up at bingo night. Now look, go, look go show I'm gonna tell you they, like they, this. They you know how you love. see. You know how you see people and they'll be like talking to everyone's ear off at the cafe or they'll go to bingo and just make friends and be hella Man. because they don't have nobody. But they realize that, you know what, we're we're social people. We're people yes. that need people no matter what. So they yes. find ways to put people in their lives, even if it's momentary, just so they don't feel like that. You know what I mean? Just so they because they figure it out that it, it, it does have to do with your mental health and and the seasons do because it makes you not not only just the, the whole natural thing of it, the aspect of it, but also the for the. Um, the pressures from society that we put on each other, you know. There's a lot more activism buying now, shit. Though. Yeah, I mean, and it's like, you know, it has a lot to do with it. So. Pe- people, a lot of people put forth their time now that will take away from their families because they know that they can get it or whatever they have it prior to. And they will go volunteer their time for people like that. Now, me, I work in, the, once again, I, I bartend, so I, ha- I have to work on the holidays. Yeah. So I have to get my family time in beforehand. So it's like yeah. I've dealt with and I've seen and experienced people coming in. On them holidays, they be getting fucked up, and it's like I, I, and I was like, man, let me just, let me just try to give a little holiday cheer. Let me Talk give, let me. me get some hospitality. Yeah, yeah, you know, because you got to, you got to spread that vibe, man. Absolutely, it, especially around that time, it's kind of, you know, mm-hmm. it's the whole shit. But it, it, this is like the kickoff for the holiday season, so I wanted to get in this, get in the spirit and talk about some shit that I don't really feel like. Like I feel like. When you have talks like how we did today about supernatural experiences or spiritual experiences that you have with people, everyone has one. Yes, now, even the people that that may not believe, they'll say that they had something strange happen to them. That, like, oh, yeah, I can't explain it. And yeah. I love scary movies. I love scary movies. Go ahead, Steph. What do you feel about scary movies? Bro? Um, yes and no. Nah, Steph is easily scared. You can no, tell. No, like I no, said, you I know wish why? you would have had camera. Like, what kind do you like? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you what fucked me up. When I watched, and I don't know why I did this shit, 
but I, I had a two story house and I was sitting like on the sofa and then right directly was the stairs. Two, one, two o'clock in the morning, I was home alone. Parents were across the street partying. Sister was spending the night at a friend's house. And on TV, the the, the movie, uh, The Exorcist, the mm. original one was on. You seen her coming down the stairs? Oh my, and it fucking, yeah. Scared the shit out of you. Fuck, I changed the channel. Yeah, that used to, that was. I, I had to run one, outside. I was, I was, oh, I was scared. That one is probably the one of the all time scary movies though. Hey, and I don't know. Do you guys believe in when, when people be speaking tongues and shit like that? Yeah, I believe in that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think they're crazy. No. Nah. I, I don't know. I think they're tuned into higher to, to to something else that we can't understand. Yeah, but I just I haven't done too much research on it. I'm not saying it's true or not true, but I just it's it's just something that's. I, I think people. I think there's levels to it. I think there's a real that's intense. Like, there's genuine stuff, and then there's fucking people that. Um, do it for show, like you see the people that want to. But and that's everything in life, though. You know that any, everything in life, there's gonna be the real thing, and then it's gonna be people that use that as their excuse or use that as an opportunity to to make that to, money, to make an advantage, yeah, and to take advantage offering. of it for attention or money or whatever it is that their their motives are. But um, do you give money when they pass around the basket? No, but think of it like this: if you're if you're faker and you're you're paid to be there by the pastor, like come come in every Sunday and fucking act like this, because there's there's some elaborate shit when it comes to to, to scamming people, and you know what I mean, like because I, I feel like I, I really feel like it's true, but I like like how we're saying, you know, you know some people take advantage. You of know it. where that money goes? That 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 pays the rent. That pays the rent, yeah, but it, yeah, it pays a for lot the more church. than the rent. Yeah, you paying for the property taxes and the priests stay there for free and get to... No, no never mind. I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, but anyways. They, uh, but yeah, I, I never contributed, ever. Sorry. Personal choice. But yeah, um, aside from the... we, I, th I feel like several times we've gone to the religious aspect, and sometimes some people can get, like, you know, kind of slightly sensitive to when we bring that kind of stuff up. So we never mean no harm, people, as we said before. It's just, you know, healthy discussion, and uh, we never want to, you know... Take it to a place that doesn't have to go. Absolutely, because we we've all we've all had our share. We've all experienced it, and we've had a change of change of heart, change of mind as we've gotten older, and you know, become more self aware. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, and you know, um, I feel like I, I've always had like a little a thing. You know, like I've been in tune with my spiritual side as a young person, mm -hmm. whether I understand it or not. But as you get older, like you said, the more life experiences that you have, and the more that you what you call feel, and you know. Yeah, and I think when, when when you experience when you get your life experiences and you go through them, like you're either, if you're that self aware, you're you're able to like take that lesson from that experience and and use it as a strength in the future, or you just gonna use use it as a fucking pity party and be like, oh my god, I went through this, that's why I'm gonna act like that, and blah 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 blah. So you bitches need to grow the fuck up, and and take that shit and uh, learn from it and make it a strong let let that experience make you a stronger person, but. Yeah, all that shit come into play. It does. This is the norm of our podcast. Like I said, this episode will be dropping Monday. Two days later, you guys should be in the motherfucking three days later, whatever. Y'all should be in full Halloween mode. Be safe out there. Remember about the little babies. Remember the... The the, 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 the blue pumpkin pails for the autistic children. They probably will don't speak. So show them a little extra love. Show them, scare them. Be nice. Be good. You know, whatever you got to do. Look out for each other. Be safe. Um... Go to those rich people houses. They'll go to the mansions. <laughs> hey, they give you the king size candy bars. They they, they do they sometimes. Do. Sometimes they lock the gate on your ass too. Like don't even step on my shit. <laughs> but look, either way, you know it's the norm vibe. We had to switch it up. We're always gonna be doing something different now. So if you guys don't like the get down, just know that this is how we are. We talk about everything at any time and it could go anywhere. Yeah. And we're getting better and better <laughs> at what we do every week. But this is us. So if you're here and you've been listening, you're down, we appreciate you. And if you're hating or you got something to say. Man, go ahead. Yeah, handle speak your on business. it. Speak on it. Handle yeah. your business. It's good. You know, get we down, here for that too. Get down too. where you mad at, we, shit. We, 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 we ain't jump out here to be in the front so we could hide and worry about, like, you know, yeah, people you... speaking on us. We just going to take it for what it is and keep it moving. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I Like I said, I'm my own worst critic, so I done burned myself like a million times already. Ain't shit you could do to me. And not only me. that, if you got something to say, we live for the intro every time we record on Thursday. So you got something to say, You, you we, we ready. We, we open on live on Thursday, so... You got something to say? Speak on it on Thursday. And we out. Producer Patty, you know what to do.